In the early stages, pancreatic cancer is extremely difficult to diagnose because there are not many early warning signs or symptoms. But as the cancer grows or starts to spread to other parts of the body, people may develop nonspecific uh, symptoms. And these symptoms may include pain in the upper abdomen or upper back, jaundice, which is yellow discoloration of the skin and eyes, dark urine, clay color stools, itchy skin, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, change in bowel habits, new onset diabetes, and unintentional weight loss. There are other signs and symptoms of pancreatic cancer as well, but it's important to remember that many of these symptoms can be caused by many other conditions, such as ulcer in the stomach, gallstone disease, liver disease, and so they're not very specific for pancreatic cancer. And the symptoms can also be very variable depending on the size and location of the cancer in the pancreas. With that in mind, it is still important to see a doctor right away if you have any of these symptoms. Jaundice is yellow discoloration of the skin and eyes, and this is caused by a buildup of bilirubin, which is a dark yellow-brown substance made in the liver. Normally, the liver releases bile that contains bilirubin, the bile then goes through the common bile duct into the intestine where it helps break down our fat. And bile eventually leaves the body in the stool. But when the common bile duct becomes blocked, uh, the bile cannot reach the intestine and the bilirubin then builds up in the blood causing uh, jaundice. Pancreatic cancer causes jaundice by essentially blocking the drainage of the bile duct. But not all pancreatic cancer patients will experience jaundice. Whether a patient will develop jaundice or not depends on the size and location of the tumor. Cancers that start in the head of the pancreas are near the common bile duct. And these cancers can press on the bile duct and cause jaundice while they're still fairly small, which can sometimes lead to these tumors being found at an early stage. On the other hand, cancers that start in the body or tail of the pancreas, they don't press on the duct until they have spread throughout the pancreas. By this time, the cancer has often spread beyond the pancreas. And when pancreatic cancer spreads, it often goes to the liver. This can also cause jaundice. Patients with pancreatic cancer often experience significant weight loss, and there are many reasons why pancreatic cancer can cause weight loss. First of all, patients may lose weight because they have pain and fatigue, which cause them to lose interest in eating food. And second, pancreatic cancer can damage the pancreas and block the flow of pancreatic enzymes into the intestine, which is where food is normally digested and absorbed. So when food is not properly digested and absorbed, this can lead to symptoms such as diarrhea and weight loss. And third, a bile duct blockage by the cancer can cause bile to back up into the blood. As a result, people may uh, experience nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, and weight loss. And finally, some patients may develop diabetes because the cancer destroys the insulin-making cells of the pancreas. Insulin is a hormone that controls how the body uses and stores blood sugar. With too little insulin, the body cannot move sugar from the blood into the cells to use as energy. And when this happens, the body starts burning fat and muscle for energy, causing a reduction in body weight. The causes of pain in pancreatic cancer are actually quite complex and um, are dependent on a number of factors. But there are three most common mechanisms leading to pain. First of all, cancers in the pancreas can grow and obstruct the pancreatic duct, which can cause pain. And second, cancers in the body or tail of the pancreas in particular can grow very large and start to press on other nearby organs. And if the cancer presses on the stomach, it can partly block it, making it hard for food to get through. This can cause nausea, vomiting, and pain that tend to be worse after eating. And finally, the cancer may also invade and press on the nerves surrounding the pancreas, which can cause pain in the abdomen and also the back.